Tämä on vähän. Tämä on vähän. Tämä on vähän. Ah. Oh-oh. So, as you can tell by the new intro, the channel has a new sponsor. So, huge thank you to Unilite. Check them out in the description below and you can get 25% off. And let's crack on with the video. What's happening? So, we're back for another video. You lot are being really spoiled by how many videos I'm putting out at the moment. I'm on my Jack Jones today, no Casper. So, a bit of graph for me. We're going to be setting out some downlights today, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it all goes to plan. I've got some very detailed drawings that should help. I'll show you what I use to set out the downlights, how I've set them out, so hopefully you get a few tips from that, and yeah, stay tuned. Okay, right, let's get going. So I'll show you what I've got with me that makes my life a little bit easier when it comes to setting out downlights. We have got two lasers. So this is the only DeWalt tool that I own. It was my very first laser. I think this is one of the first ever models that come out from DeWalt. So this is ancient, this thing, but it still does a job. We've got the old tape measure. We've got our combi drill with the right size hole cutter. So this is a 76 mil hole saw. This is for the JCC V50s that I'll be installing. This is the bank. Probably the most important tool when it comes to cutting out downlights because it catches all the dust, so that is important. And I think, well, we got steps, obviously. And uh, yeah, good old pencil. So we're gonna get cracking. I'm gonna show you, oh, hold on. These are the very detailed drawings that I was on about. These are, look at this, look. You don't get better than that. So what I do, what I tend to do, is I will draw out the down lights on paper. I will take pictures of them, so they're stored on my phone as well. So heaven forbid I lost that book. So I've got them stored on my phone as well, and I put them on the cloud, and I've also got a group chat. I've got Casper in as well, which I will send to the WhatsApp group chat. So he's got them as well. So a little tip there, try and get as many copies as you can just in case I lose the phone, I lose the book, I lose Casper. Um, so yeah, first tip. So this first room that I'm in at the moment, we are in not the living room, so that is wrong. Hold on. We are in the main bedroom. Here we go. Main bedroom. This room is what, three meters by 4.3 meters. I've got, as you can see, the nine down lights in here. I always like to stay odd when it comes to down lights. I feel odd looks better, for me anyway. I always like to also keep lights running right down the center of the room. So I'll have a, a row always down the center. And then from that center point, I will mark either side of that center light some more down lights. I don't like to go too close to the wall when it comes to my down lights, purely because I see a lot of people, they go like 300 from the, from the wall. I feel that it casts a shadow. You get like that ring of light on the walls, which I'm not a fan of. I don't know about anyone else, but I tend not to keep my lights too close to the walls for that reason. So I think I've come off 600 mil from each wall. Rowers down the center as well. That's how I tend to sort of do my down lights. So yeah, as you can see, yeah, 600 from the walls. And that gives us enough light to spread on the floor. Cause we haven't got huge ceilings here as well. We haven't got huge ceilings. So you want that spread of light hitting the whole floor. For me anyway. If you've got higher ceilings, you obviously, you've got more radius of light. The higher the ceiling, the bigger the spread of light on the floor, the lower the ceiling, the less for the light. So that's why I've gone for nine in this specific room. So yeah, now I'm gonna start setting out. So my first laser point, I'll go measure 600 from this light, which is here. And I'll measure 600 from 
this light here and we'll get one laser running straight through them 600s. Also quickly, another thing to take into consideration, it's not a huge deal, but I've gone 600 here. My 600 is from the original wooden joist behind the plasterboard. So you need to take into the fact that this is, what, an extra 15 mil plasterboard? It's not a huge difference, but you will probably find that this wall is probably double insulated. So there might be two walls here, plus a bit of insulation. I'll have a look, but you also need to take into that account as well, the dimensions might have changed a little bit. I can tell by this wall, this is an internal wall, there's only one bit of plaster, but these external walls here may have come out a little bit more than what you had anticipated. So also check for that as well. This is so noise. Right, so the laser's set up. I'm now gonna get my first measurement, 600 in for our first light. And then we've got 1600. So it's 1,600 mil to the center light and it'll be the same measurement across to here. Now, what I'll do first, I'll go around, I'll mark it all up first. I won't cut any holes until everything is completely marked and set up. But what we'll do from here, yeah, we're also going to set up our second laser off this first light to get our straight edge across to get them two lights across the back. You'll see what I mean in just a second. Right, so the second laser is up. You don't need to have a second laser. I just prefer to have one. Like I said, it makes my life a lot easier. So my second laser, I measured from this wall 600, got our mark so then I can ping my laser down that hits my light under here. So we're all even up this way. And then I've marked my 600, I've taken into account the depth of the wall here, which is about 45 mil. So I've taken that and then that will give me my centre down light. Okay, so fingers crossed, this centre down light should line up exactly with the centre of this window. Fingers crossed. I'll have a little measure up now. So that is 920 mil from this light and this light, 920 mil is bang in the centre. So now I can measure 920 mil from this light, get my mark, and then we'll ping another laser and just make sure we are bang in the centre. If not, we might have to do a little bit of jiggery pokery. Okay, green laser is set up again from the centre of this light. I measured off from the one closest to the window are 920 to get the centre right down the middle. And as you can see, we are about 10 mil off of the centre of that window, which isn't bad at all. Isn't bad at all. So that will give us our centre. I might have to just jigger out to get bang in the centre. I can take five mil off either side, bring it in a little bit. But that is pretty damn good. This obviously takes a little bit of planning. Uh, there's a little bit of messing around to do before you can start cutting out the lights. Always best to get them all set out first before you start cutting. That is the best thing you can do. Uh, the cutting doesn't take, any, uh, doesn't take too long. So um, yeah, this is where the sort of time is sort of eating up in, is all this measuring. So from this light over here, I'm going to measure our 1600, which should give us our light bang in the middle. And then I can measure from this 1600 again to 1600 and this will give us this light 
by the window. So that'll be six lights done. And then I can set my laser up again on this side. And yeah, we should be, fingers crossed, done. So I've just marked out the final three lights, the same process as what we did with the center light. So we had already this mark, 600, 600. I marked from this center light, 92, 920 mil across to get our mark there. Run this laser across, meeting up with the two marks. We can then work from this light that we got. We got our 1600 mil, We've got our middle light, 1600 mil again, and we got the measurement for this light. So, we are all measured up. Now comes for the most, what, what should I say? Terrifying part of the job, which is cutting them out. The bit we all dread, the bit where we go, have I done my job properly? Have I measured it all correctly? So yeah, this is probably the most heart-wrenching part of it all. So this is it. This is the moment of truth. First hole, ready to be cut out. Let's see what happens. We got chicken wire. Obviously to hold the insulation up in place. That's what the uh, hole cutter caught. I'll cut a little bit of this out and see if I can get my hand up there. The cable should be around here somewhere. The cable should be around here somewhere, he says. So I'm just finishing off cutting out this uh, chicken wire with the good old Nipex <laughs> side cutters. Oh dear, now, the only downside to using these lights, these down lights I'm gonna use, they're amazing down lights, it's just the hole is a little bit too small for my hands. So hopefully, we can find where the cable is. Uh, I think I've got it. Mate, there we go. Numero one down. Thank God for that. I had a little panic there when I felt the whole saw catch, thinking I'd hit a joist, but we're all good. We're all good. I can go round now and I know comfortably everything else will be fine, he says. So all the cables are pulled out, bar two, which I can't seem to find. But luckily enough, I have the new Super Rod cam from Super Rod, all right? This thing, I've used it quite a bit already. This camera connects to an app on your phone. If I can open it, there we go. It connects to the app on your phone. So it connects via Wi-Fi, you get all these attachments with it telescopic pole, we've got flexible bits. So these all attach into the rear side, but you can also attach things like a little hook on the front here and bits like that. So we can put it, put it up there and grab whatever cable we want. So we'll give this a go now, see how we get on. Uh, light on the front as well. So yeah, HD ready. So we'll give this a little bash and see if we can see our cable. All right, got the camera set up on a telescopic pole. This is my phone, so a bit of phoneception. Hello! There we are. Easy as that, connects via Wi Fi. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna stick this up the hole and see what we can see. 
Let's give this a little whirl, eh? So the cam camera is up. And then we can have a little butchers on here and see where our cable is. So our cable is tucked away there. Our camera is pointing that way. So we know our cable is definitely there. This thing is quality. Really good quality on this as well. Really good quality. There's our cable. There he is. So I know which direction now I've got to reach in and grab it. It is just about here, that cable. So this thing, this thing is really good. Yeah, really happy with this. I think it's only just come out as well. I was one of the first testers to test this out. And um, yeah, very, very happy with it. And that is all the cables pulled out, cut out. So yeah, that super rod camera came in really handy by the way. Yeah, really handy. Nice little pouch of it as well. Get loads of little accessories. So that was an absolute winner for today. Yeah, really good bit of kit that was. And that is all for this week's video. So hopefully you got a little, uh, hopefully you got a few tips from this on how I certainly set out my down lights. And um, yeah, I will catch you all on the next video. See you all later.